All right, just tell me it's true. <laughs> no. Amy, there's no use denying it. I know who Phil Brent is. No. Amy, don't you think I know what you've been going through ever since I got back here? Trying to keep me from knowing? But Amy, you don't have to do that anymore. It's all over. Amy, look at me. It'd be better if you would admit it. Oh, 
better to have admitted it. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Ashamed of what? <laughs> My whole life. Oh, Amy. Amy, no, no, you have nothing to be ashamed of. about Amy. What happened was a long time ago, 20 years. You've said that over and over yourself. I'm the only one that's to blame. Oh, but Amy, he is such a wonderful boy. Do you know that? Oh, I felt it the first time I met him. I should never have told you. He didn't tell me anything, believe me. Nothing you could have said this morning would have convinced me that I wasn't right. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, it is happening, Amy, and it's been a long time coming. I think I sensed it the first minute I saw him, but I wasn't even sure what it was I was feeling. Yeah, that, that first night when I saw him in the restaurant with you and your husband, something drew me to that boy then. You know, I don't even like kids. There was something special about him. Why did you have to come back here? It was meant to be. Meant to be? Of course. If I hadn't come back to Pine Valley, I never would have been able to save his life the other night. Yes, yes, it has to be, Amy. I was meant to find out. And all the things I've been wondering about suddenly fell into place that night at the hospital. When I heard you begging Ruth to be with him, that's when I knew, Amy. It was like I had been given the greatest gift in the world. But you haven't been given anything, Nick. This changes nothing. It changes my whole life. How? You can't change anything. Oh, Amy, I know I can't make it up to you. I'd give anything in the world if I could do that. That night in the hospital, standing outside the emergency room, when I first knew who Phil Grant really was, it suddenly came to me in a flash what you must have gone through for 19 years. Never being able to claim him. Always having to stand by and play the ant. Instead, Amy, I know. And all I can do is to say I'm sorry. I don't want you to do anything except be quiet. Amy, I'm trying to tell you how sorry I am that I ran out on you years ago. How glad I am I came back. Why? Well, for a guy like me, with no more roots in his life than a tumbleweed, to find out suddenly that you've got a wonderful son. He isn't your son! You know, it's funny, me, Nick Davis... I always said I didn't want to be tied down with a wife and a kid. And, and now I'm so proud I want to shout it from the rooftops. Nick, you can't even read a word of this. I, I feel like must, must never know the truth. Now you have got to promise me this is our secret. Nick! Nick, do you hear me? Oh, I hear you, Amy. That's an awfully hard promise to make. Nick! Hadn't you better answer your doorbell? We'll talk about this later. Well, that is 
most unusual, especially after Amy's been so adamant about uh, not helping with anything except Keith calls this time. Well, adamant? Uh, we were just about to have some coffee. Would you like to join us? Well, yes, thank you, dear, very much. I'd like that. All right, I'll just get some cups. Amy, do you have a cold, dear? No, why? Well, your eyes seem rather red. Oh, well, it's spring. You know, I've, I've got the allergy to something in the air, I think. Excuse me, I, I won't be able to... I can't get over how extraordinary it is to find you here like this, Nikki. Yes. It's a small world, isn't it? Well, I had no idea that that terribly important appointment you had this morning before 11 was here. Oh, no, it wasn't, actually. I did go to that appointment, but they had to cancel it on me, so I uh, just found myself in this neighborhood. Oh, I see. Well, it certainly is a credit to your powers of persuasion that you were able to lure Amy into helping us. I failed at that completely. Oh, I don't know if I lured her, Mrs. Tyler, but I am very glad that she's decided to help me. Oh, yes, so am I. That's uh, an extraordinarily good picture of Philip Brent, don't you think? Yes, it is. You know, I've never been able to decide just who it is he looks like. His mother, Ruth, I think. Well, perhaps. You know, you certainly are becoming quite a figure in this community. I mean, first of all, being a lightsaber to Philip and now drawing Amy out of her shell, I just can't get over it. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, no, the coffee's hot, but I can't guarantee it's being fresh. But of course, if you can wait, I'll make some more. Oh, no, dear, really. I shouldn't interrupt the two of you in your business discussion. Oh, no, 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 no. Really, we're just about winding up. Oh. All right, then. I... You know, I'd be very, very interested in hearing about these new ideas for the ball that you have, Amy. I'd like to hear about it myself. Have you? Yes, please. Ideas that Nikki came over here to discuss with you. Excuse me, Miss Thomas. Did I, did I say the ball? <laughs> well, I don't know where my mind is. Actually, uh, it's the youth center that Amy is helping me with, and that's what we were talking about. You know, she is so close to her nephew. Um, she was just telling me some ideas of hers, uh, what she thought the uh, young people here would like. I see. Well, that's very interesting. Philip Brent, too. Philip did not insult you. Now, you tried to break him and Tara up, and he didn't let you get away with it. That's all. He stood me up for the palm. Derek, why don't you get off your high horse and come down here with the rest of us? I don't want to be down anywhere with, with the rest of you. I want to be special, and I'm going to be. What you're going to be is miserable. If you keep expecting... A hamburger or, or another attack on Erica? You're right. Let's get some music going. Anybody get away with anything, do you? <laughs> you know, you jump to conclusions that all people are against you, and that's what's so wrong. I mean, do you have to be the one that everybody likes best to make sure that they like you at all? Yes. Well, you've got to get rid of that. No, I don't. And I also don't have to sit around and, and let Nick Davis keep coming into my house telling my mother and me how lousy I am. I don't even with him. Huh. I don't know yet. There's something very peculiar about, about the way he thinks Philip Brent is Superboy. 
Putting in that radio in the hospital? Would it have been all right if he brought you the radio? I wouldn't want that creep on my side. Okay. Listen, let's forget it. Mm-hmm. I will. After I find out what brought Nick Davis back here to the valley after all these years. And I do mean to find out. Just you watch me. <laughs> She doesn't have a child of her own. No, I don't think it is logical. I think that if she were as involved with her husband as she should be, it wouldn't be necessary. Oh, that's a pretty strong thing to say. I mean it. I've been worried lately about Amy and Link, their marriage. Well, if there's love, it'll survive anything. You remember that. Well, I just can't get over what a surprise it was finding you here, Nikki. It was terribly providential. Well, how's that, Mrs. Tyler? Well, I don't think you've been outside of my door for five minutes when I remember that I had promised faithfully to country club people that you and I would be out there sometime today and take the measurements for the decoration. Oh, I see. Oh. Well, as a matter of fact, if, um, well, I wouldn't have known where to find you if you hadn't been here. I suppose it was lucky that I dropped over there. Oh, yes, indeed it was. And if uh, you and Amy are really finished with your business and Amy doesn't mind, I think I'll just send you off to the country club this morning. No, they'll be fine. I think we've uh, we discussed everything we have to talk about this morning, don't you, Amy? Yes, I 
Oh, well, then why don't we go right now? Uh, that is, if Amy doesn't mind. I'll even take you to lunch at the club. Oh, they make a gorgeous quiche Lorraine. I just adore having a lunch with a handsome man in the middle of all of those ladies. Oh, it makes me feel absolutely, well, just wonderful. I'm sure I feel the same way. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, uh, you wouldn't want to join us, would you, Amy? You'd be welcome, of course. No, thank you, Susan. I have an appointment. Oh, good. Well, then, I uh, will see you later, dear. Bye, Susan. Excuse me, just one moment, Mrs. Tyler. Uh, Amy? Goodbye. I'm glad we had our little talk. Glad we were able to go over that information. Yes, but there are other things that we should continue. Of course. I'll call you. Celebrate 35 years of All My Children with a special edition of Soap Talk. Thursday at 11 p.m. Only on SoapNet.